Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Inzamam from Sai Mehta Estate Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. Sai Mehta, Koti, Hyderabad is providing free of cost YouTube video lectures for previous ESET examination questions from the effective faculties of Sai Mehta, Koti, Hyderabad. My dear students, in these video lectures, every single day for all the branches EC, EEE, Mechanical, Civil, and Computers, for all the branches, every single day we are updating PYQs, previous ESET examination questions. So what are you waiting for, guys? Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates. Day update just from my dear students in the era of where people are making everything as a business Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is giving the coaching for online ESET 2024-2025 offline ESET 2024-2025 key when I'm coaching already new admission new batches and already start open I'm Eero Jullo where 10th class admissions are going to be for month effective faculty slow home tuitions Kuda per month ever ever in a sare thousand rupees cut it a quantity charge here in Chala custom effective faculties reputed uh, institutes law reputed uh, uh, experience to now faculty members of the 10th class home tuitions this call and a sare per month they'll be definitely charging minimum thousand rupees around today uh, in and around for one year you'll be getting a payment of around how much twelve thousand. For SSE home tuition itself, if you are paying 12,000 guys, Thai Medha Koti Hyderabad is providing one and a half year coaching, two years coaching, three years coaching. Thai Medha Koti Hyderabad lo coaching ane di first year diploma ni chhi start apne, second year diploma students ki start apne, third year diploma students ki start apne, three years course under di, two years course under di, one year course under di. Alante di total courses se kora eppur mana thagra fees re di 10,000 daat le. Andu lo kora mali merit bette. Percentages wise, concessions betty, economically backward everything under Walani encourage Jalino Desham though, minimum fees though, maximum concessions though. Sai Medha Kodi Hyderabad is providing every year coaching. Results Vishani Koste, you know it, guys. Every single year, top five branches low, state first ranks to Paduga, maximum ranks was secured by Sai Medha Kodi Hyderabad only. So, my dear students, what are you waiting for? ESET 2024, ESET 2025, ESET 2026. Coaching has been started in the Sai Medha Kodi Hyderabad. Effective coaching ekkada na undi. Manakko expertized faculties ni ekkada na coaching undi. Digitally recorded video classes oka systematic pattern lo. Coaching we are providing both online and as well as offline. So what are you waiting for guys? Download the app saimeda.in and press the bell icon to be notified for the every updates. Uh, every single day we are going to be updating in the YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel, press the bell icon to be notified. Download the app saimeda.in and uh, scrolling on the mobile numbers key contact journey and join now in Saimeda Koti Hyderabad. At the end of the video, I'll come back one more time for some more information. Till then guys, watch the video now. Hello everyone, welcome to Saimeda Koti Hyderabad. In this session, I would like to discuss about previous year questions of ESET in the concept of DC generators such as classification characteristics and the parallel operation. The let's start from the question number one. The question one is the voltage across the terminals of the separately excited DC generator is 10 volts with a no field current. The now the field winding is excited with 1 amperes and a generated no load voltage rises to 230 volts further. So, if the generator continues to operate at the rated speed and field current reduced to zero. So, then which of the following could be probably value of the armature the voltage option 1 170 volts option 2 2 volts and option 3 3 volts and option 4 8 volts. So, separately mention that the separately excited DC generator. So, in separate excited DC generator, so this is the field winding, okay, field winding of the generator. So, now excited, okay, with the DC supply, okay, this one is the DC, okay, supply we have and uh, this one is a, the, there is a armature winding, okay, now this one is armature winding of the DC machine. Now it is rotated by the prime mover okay, at a speed of the, so this is the prime mover torque at a speed of the N. So now this voltage is known as the generated voltage of the generators. Okay. So now initially the generator is okay, rotated without any field current. So that means because of the residual flux, very small amount of the EMF induces. So, this current is equal to IF 
So now we have a characteristics, no load characteristics in this case. So first one, uh, this is the generated voltage and uh, field current on the uh, x axis and generated voltage of the generator on the F y axis. So without any field current, it is a clearly mentioned that, so now generator that generate the voltage of the 10 volts without any field current, so 10 volts here. So that means when IF is equal to the 0, so it has some amount of the voltage, okay, this voltage is equal to the 10 volts. So without any field current also, there is a some residual flux in the field poles. So due to this residual flux, the generator can build up of the voltage of the 10 volts. So this 10 volts, so due to, okay, this one is a due to the residual flux, the residual, the flux in the machine. So the residual flux is denoted by phi r, phi small r. So due to the residual flux without any field current, the generator uh, build up of the voltage of the 10 volts. Now generator is excited with a 1 amperes, uh, uh, 1 amperes here and generator no load voltage rises to the 230 volts. Now if I increase okay, this current to the 1 ampere, the field current of the 1 ampere. Now what about the open circuit characteristics? As the field current increases, okay, this is also the field current increases, okay, linearly increase, generated voltage linearly increases up until the field poles get saturated. So now this is a assume, okay, this one is the full load voltage. Now this voltage is equal to the 230 volts okay, here under full load condition. Now if this is a increment, okay, this one is the increment, okay, this one is the increment, generated voltage increase okay, from the 10 volts to the uh, 230 volts. Okay, got it fine? Now if the field current is further, the generator continues to operate at the rated speed and field current is reduced to the zero. If I decrease the speed, field current, then what will happen? The B, this one is a, the, if field current is a decreases, if this characteristic traces the another path. So this another path like this. So these are the characteristic traces the another path. So now when field current again zero, so this is the increment and this one is the decrement. So this voltage is nearly greater than the 10 volts. So now this one is a greater than the 10 volts. Now that example point, okay, it is a 12 volts. So what I conclude here, so increment, okay, increment in the flux phi, the is little bit greater than the decrement, okay, in flux, the decrement in the flux due to the saturation of the field poles, okay, this one is a saturation of the field poles. So as a result, what will happen? So increment in the flux is more as compared to the decrement in the flux due to the saturation of the field poles. Similarly, that's why, so if I decrease the field current again at the zero volts, it has some amount of the voltage. So now that voltage is a more than the 12 volts. What is the reason? So always increment in the flux is a more as compared to the decrement in the cell. So actually, if I decreasing the flux, it must trace the same path without saturation. So because of the saturation of the field poles, it traces the another path. So now it has, whenever field current is equal to zero, this value is a somewhat more than the initial value. So that answer for this question, option the two is correct, okay, option two. So that is a, see the option two, what 170 is not possible. The 10 volts is also not correct. It is less than the 10 volts. Only one option is possible. So that is a 12 volts is the right answer for this question. Okay. And next one, let us solve question number 2. A 6 pole Laboon DC generator supplies okay, two, uh, 290 amperes to the load. Uh, to the field current of the generator is 10 amperes and the current in the each parallel path of the armature winding. Option 1, 40 amps, option 2, 45 amps, and option 3, 40 amps, 50 amps, and option 5, the 55 amps. Mention that DC shunt generator. 
So, this is a very important factor. So, given generator is a DC shunt generator. The DC shunt generator means suppose this one is a armature winding, okay, armature winding of the generator and armature winding terminals. Okay, these are the armature winding. Now, this one is a field winding terminals, okay, assume as field winding terminal. So, in the DC shunt generator, always field winding is connected across the armature winding. And this is a okay. This one is rotated by the prime mover the at a speed of the n. Okay, this one. Now this one is a load is connected here. Okay, this load terminal voltage. So this is the load. Now this current passes through e, in this case. The EMF generated okay, generated EMF is E. And this one is a armature current IA. And this one is a load current IL and this current is known as the ish okay load current is the shunt field current ish1 so that may given in the question okay given that so this one is the supplies the load current il is equal to the 290 amps okay and also field current if okay shunt field current is equal to the 10 amperes so now we required current in the each parallel path so now uh, number of poles in the machine, the P is equal to 6 number of the poles and mention that lab connected armature winding. Lab winding means number of parallel paths is, number of parallel paths is equal to number of poles. So that is equal to 6 number of the parallel paths. Now to the, this we require current the per parallel path, okay, this current per the armature current, okay, this armature current per parallel path okay, is a required. So now first we need to find out armature current per DC shunt generator. Okay, this case. Okay, per the DC shunt. Okay, DC shunt generator. So this one is a DC shunt generator. So just apply the KCL at this node. Okay, by KCL equation. So by KCL. So we get. Okay, this one is a we get the KCL at node one. Okay, KCL at the node one. So, suppose here this assume as a, this one is the node 1. So, by KCL that node 1, incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So, therefore, armature current is equal to load current plus the shunt field current. So, this armature current IA is equal to what is the load current given in the question and 290 amps. Okay, this is equal to the 290 plus 10. So, equal to 300 amps. Now, we required armature current per parallel path. So, how do we get armature current? So, armature current okay, per parallel path. So, this armature current per parallel path that is equal to the total armature current divided by number of the parallel paths. How many number of the parallel paths? Okay, this number of parallel paths that is equal to 6 number of the parallel. So, now this is equal to 300 divided by the 6. So, answer for this question. So, now it is equal to 50 amps. So, answer is the 50 amps is the correct answer for this question okay now next one let us solve question number three if the residual magnetism is present in the dc generator the induced emf at zero speed will be so the option one zero and option two infinity and option three the rated voltage and option four the low voltage okay so in order to build up of the voltage in that self excited DC generator, some conditions must be satisfied. So, to build up, okay, this one is the to build up of, build up of the voltage, the in the voltage. So, what are the conditions to be satisfied? So, condition 1. So, here the field poles have some residual flux. So, to build up of the voltage, conditions to be satisfied, conditions that to be satisfied in the self excited DC generator. So, first condition number 1. So, that is a field poles have some residual pucks. So, now this one is a field. The poles have, okay, this field poles have the sum the residual plugs, okay, phi r, some the residual plugs. And second one, the field winding terminals are properly connected in such a way that Initial field flux with existing residual flux. So, proper field winding terminals, field 
winding the terminals are so these terminals are the properly connected okay this properly connected the in such a way that the initial fill plugs the must aid the in existing residual plugs and next one the speed of the generator or speed of the frame mover so greater than the greater than the critical speed so speed of the generator greater than the some critical okay speed here so what is the mean by critical speed the speed of the generator or speed of the prime mover below which generator fails to build up of the voltage and the fourth condition the speed of, uh, uh, resistance of the field winding the resistance okay resistance of the field winding okay this one resistance of the field winding the must be less than the the critical resistance the critical okay resistance so what is the mean by critical resistance the resistance of the field winding the above which generator fails to build up of the voltage so here there is a critical speed suppose in this question see this one so condition 1 is satisfied let us assume condition 2 is also satisfied field winding terminals are properly connected there is a residual flux in the machine so that it can build up of the voltage but condition 3 is not positive not satisfied the inducers at zero speed mention that zero speed that means speed of the generator the less than the critical speed that's why it cannot build up of the voltage so answer for this question option 1 is correct the option 1 is a zero so is a right answer for this question so next one let us solve question number 4 in the dc series generator if the resistance of the field winding is increase then the output will output will so option 1 increase and also decreases the remain same and so include uh, the flux weight the dc series generator the resistance of the field winding given generator is a, the given that oka okay, dc oka okay, series generators oka okay, this is the given the generator part the dc series generator so dc series generator means so this one is the armature winding so always okay this is the assume as a field winding so field winding and armature windings are connected in series okay this assume so this one is the load and generated voltage is e and it is rotated by the frame mover at a speed of the n now this current is a armature current and that is a field current series field current and current passes the load is ie so now this one is the rsc valves so just as terminal voltage okay vt is the terminal voltage of the generator so now by apply the kvl equation see here so by the kvl equation in a loop so we get voltage rises are equal to the voltage drop so now there is armature resistance ra value so now by applying the kvl equation voltage rises here that means the vz is equal to the vt plus ia and ra plus okay rsc okay this neglect the brush drop okay now in this case if the series field winding increases then the output voltage okay this output are generated voltage so now in this case here so this one is a series field resistance rsc is a increases so r s e value so here consider this one output in the sense so generated voltage only okay this one is the generated the voltage okay that's what will happen in the generated volt so now this generated voltage okay as a series field winding r s e is increases okay generated voltage will be decrease generated voltage is a decreasing now if it is mentioned uh, that okay if it is a terminal voltage from here we can get terminal voltage the vt is equal to ez minus the vt okay sorry the this one is the vz minus the in this case vt is equal to vz minus ia ra plus okay rsc values so suppose if it is a output power okay in this case the output power is equal to terminal voltage multiplied by the armature current okay terminal voltage multiplied by now if it is consider output power then what will happen so this uh, as rsc is a increases so now this the this drop will be increased 
So now here this IARA drop will be increases, IA uh, RSC drop increasing. So when it is increases, okay, net voltage okay, is a decreases. So now this total value is a terminal voltage will be decreased. When terminal voltage is a decreases, okay, what about output power? So this output power is equal to decreasing. So in this question, there is a confusion whether it is a output power or output voltage. Suppose if it is output uh, voltage, uh, output power is given. So answer for this question, option the 2 is correct. So if it is mentioned clearly the generated voltage, so this generated voltage increases and terminal voltage the decreasing and output power is a decreasing. Suppose consider this is the output power. So answer for this question is a decreases is the right answer. So option the 2 is correct for this question. Okay. And next one question number 5. Negative voltage regulation is obtained in the following DC generator. So negative voltage regulation is obtained in the following DC generators. Suppose from the characteristics option 1 plot the plot compound under compound over compound and the series generators. So in this case suppose we have a the plot compound cumulative compound generators. Now this is the under no load condition it generate the voltage of the EZ naught. So now this voltage okay it are over compound plot compound and under compound these are the characteristics the per over compound generators over compound and these are the characteristics for the plot compound generators and these characteristics for the under compound generators okay this is the under the compound generators okay this one is under compound generator so now plot compound and under compound now what about the series generators this series generator characteristics here so these are the series generator characteristics so series generators characteristics and this voltage is a terminal voltage and it is a load current IL. So now from these characteristics voltage regulation percentage voltage regulation is equal to the VNL minus V pull load divided by V pull load the multiplied by 100. So now here no load suppose this one is the pull load voltage okay the pull load and this one is the no load condition. So in over compound generator, so pull load voltage is a more as compared to the no load voltage. So in all cases, so this is a here zero almost zero here the zero voltage regulation and in this case okay here uh, positive voltage regulation. Why because so this one is a the pull load, no load voltage okay this v VNL is a greater than the V pull load okay that is why. And in over compound this VN this is a uh, no load voltage is less as compared to the pull load voltage. So VNL is a less as compared to the pull load voltage that is why the voltage regulation is a negative. And in the series generator also suppose this is a series generator. So now this one is the no load voltage and this is the pull load voltage. So now in the series generator also no load the negative voltage regulation occurs okay negative voltage regulation occurs so in this question the over compound generator is also right answer okay this over compound and also series generator also right answers okay 3 and 4 are correct answer the negative voltage regulation is obtained in the following the one is a over compound also the series generators so option 3 and 4 are correct so next one let us solve question number 6 the essential conditions for the stable parallel operation of the two identical DC generators is that they should have the same no load and pull load speed, the same KW output rating and same percentage regulation, the drooping voltage characteristic. So essential condition to connect the DC generators are in parallel is that the drooping voltage characteristics should be the same. So that option the 4 is correct for this question. Okay. So thank you very much guys for watching this video till the end. Uh, uh, definitely this video has been uh, improvised your subject knowledge and definitely given you an idea about how the previous ESET examination question is getting up here. Again one more time guys. If video ni miru nachide kachidanga like jayandi, share jayandi, subscribe jayandi and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates guys. Uh, Admissions and the already start up in a ESET 2024, ESET 2025, ESET 2026. First year, second year, third year, 
ఉంది ఆల్్రెడీ ఈ సెట్ కోచింగ్ అనేది ఆన్లైన్ కోచింగ్ అండ్ ఆఫ్లైన్ కోచింగ్ న్యూ బ్యాచెస్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి స్టార్టెడ్ గైస్ సో మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ యు వెయిటింగ్ ఫర్ డౌన్లోడ్ ది యాప్ సైమేద డాట్ ఇన్ మీకు ఏ డౌట్స్ ఉన్నా సరే మన స్క్రోలింగ్ లో ఉన్న మొబైల్ నంబర్స్ కి కాంటాక్ట్ చేయండి జాయిన్ నౌ ఇన్ సైమేద కోటి హైదరాబాద్ థాంక్యూ వెరీ మచ్ దిస్ ఇస్ మొహమ్మద్ ఇజమామ